What's the best piece of advice you can give someone who wants to launch a restaurant? Well, just be deliberate about it. You know, like everything you don't know, try to figure it out beforehand. Like, I mean, like, yes, I kind of was building the plane while I was flying it, but I got really lucky and you could do that. I think easier 30 years ago than you can now figure it all out. in that first restaurant, man, if you can, if you can do it, do it with some middle-class sensibility. Don't raise a bunch of money, open up something that's small, pour over every plate, you know, find your footing at somewhere where you can just every night kill every guest, build up your reputation, both financially and within the restaurant. And then from there, if you want to be more ambitious than that, go. I mean, the best thing I ever did was open up a 24 seater followed by a 50 seater. Um, you know, I got to get those down first um, before I tried to go and do a big restaurant. And even with Nashville, I went too big too fast. So it's uh, it's an education and it's a climb and just like, you got lots of time. Yeah. Don't, don't, be, don't be too quick to like jump into, you know, a blockbuster film, make your little handheld indie film first before you try to go all Jerry Bruckenheimer, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have to. I mean, the measured steps, right? Yeah. Yeah, measured steps. Well, as I know we're getting into the conclusion here shortly, but right before I get into that, you know, we covered most of the marks about Boca, and this has been a master. Interestingly enough, I, I go into, I went into this with no expectation because I know your background, there's so much there. And to see where it went, not only was it a master class on the business side, but I think more important than that is like your energy and, and the mindset and the, the mental part. I, that's stuff that's not talked about enough, and I know people will appreciate that. So thank you for being vulnerable. No, about hey, listen, I, the word restaurant comes from restoration and, you know, the restoration of other people's souls. And it's pretty hard to restore other people's souls if you haven't restored your own soul. So if you're really, if you're, a sprinter, you, you have a diet and you train and you stretch and you do all those things. If you're a restorer of souls, you should spend time every day restoring your own. Mm. That's part of your, it's that, 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 that's part of your preparation for what you do. Yeah. Yeah. That's extremely powerful. Well, the, the last business questions I have for you, cause we didn't touch on them is I, I want to ask you about beyond your, yes. your club, but what, what is that? It's a 30,000 square foot private club for mind, body, and soul. It's got a couple restaurants inside of it. It has six doctors attached to it. It's got a full-time internist, psychiatrist, chiropractor, naturopath, doctor of Chinese medicine, all in-house, um, full blood lab in-house. Uh, it's got a listening room with 2,000 records in it. It's got a nap room with a Haston bed, infrared sauna, two beautiful locker rooms, an incredible gym, two massive yoga studios, all like with really design forward. It's beautiful. Um, it's on the Riverwalk in the 600 West Chicago building where Groupon used to be. Um, uh, it is, it's uh, $4,000 a year as a membership. And that includes all your fitness classes and all your yoga classes. Um, and uh, it's really a spectacular place. It's changed a lot of people's lives in there. Um, it even saves someone's life. One of our members had some numbness in his right leg, went to our doctor of Chinese medicine. She's a really powerful healer. And after seeing him for five minutes said, you need to go up and see our internist and get a full, uh, get a full blood lab. Did a blood test. She saw some irregularities, called our medical director, said she was going to do an MRI, said do a CAT scan, lesion on his kidney, removed 50% of his kidney two weeks later, saved his life. What? So there's this whole holistic medicine going on that there's so many things we can do because everyone's talking to each other. Yeah. So you can walk into that space. There are people that need, want everything. There are people that just went through a terrible experience in their life and they're like, give me the life coach, give me the psychiatrist, give me the trainer five days a week, give me the naturopath, I need to be on a good diet and I need an executive physical. And you know, people can get nurse, truly nursed back to health or just a standard of health every single week. So that place keeps me upright. Yeah. You know, it's interesting. My follow-up question was going to be what differentiates you from like an East Bank club or a Soho house? I think I just told you. <laughs> you just yeah, it's, it's definitely, it, yeah, I mean, I, you know, uh, one magazine called us the most complete wellness private club that exists in the world. Wow. Um, uh, I, I think it is. I don't think there's anything quite like it that exists on the planet. It's here in Chicago. I have amazing partners, uh, Joe, Robbie, and Mar. Um, uh, Karen Harold, who designed it, did a beautiful job. 
Angelo Costas is our medical director, one of the best doctors in Chicago. It's it's a cool place. And we're about to expand um, actually next week, 10,000 more square feet that is like now co-working. So you can turn it into a co-working hybrid space. So if anybody hears this and they want to come out and they want to be my guest, just send me a message on Instagram and say that I heard you on the podcast and I'd love to be a guest for a day and come on out and be a guest. Well, we'll make sure to put all that detail in the podcast. So people can pay you. That. That's very generous of you. You know, I was I was going to ask you about that because w- w- why why get into that space? You know, you guys were focused restaurants. Obviously, you have restaurants in there, but it sounds like also what I heard for the last hour why you did it too. Be, well, because we're an evolu- we're we're all evolution, right? We, we should be evolving. If we're doing it right, we're evolving as humans, and and that's what I had evolved into. And I opened up something that mirrored who I'd become. Yeah. Um, you know, at one point that was that was just restaurants, but you know now my life is. A lot like a, a lot like beyond too. Yeah.